This is my 1980 Schwinn Varsity Ladies Bicycle. This unique 5-speed bicycle is the third of three mild custom bikes that I'm offering this month. I was very excited about doing this build earlier this season when this all came together. Because this is the first Varsity that I've done in what one could label as a hybrid type fashion with low rise style handlebars, a simplified shifting system, and a wide pan seat. Um, these low rise style blue handlebars are a darn close color match. They're outfitted with uh, Weinman aluminum ball tip brake levers, a set of blue glitter Schwinn grips, and one of the neat modernizational pieces to this package, the 5-speed thumb shifter. The 5-speed thumb shifter is kind of a neat touch because it indexes into each gear. So it takes the guesswork out of the old twin sticks up here where they are infinitely positionable. It's got a beautiful stem, beautiful headset. In fact, it just has nice chrome all around. It has a nice set of chrome wheels that are respectably straight. They just had a little bit of wheel smithing work done to them. I put a half turn on each spoke and then performed a final true on my TS2. The spike also features the collegiate uh, shifting package, which you'll note the front sprocket with the four hole clover leaf type uh, pattern. That's running an old school set of chain that's been thoroughly cleaned and relubed and also has the larger diameter first gear cog with a larger diameter chrome spoke protector running on the Schwinn GT100 derailleur system. Bike also has a, a complete Schwinn reflector set, rear reflector mounted on the rack, front stem mounted reflector, and wheel set reflectors. This bike has a vintage person seat this wide pan style seat has the person's aluminum tag on the rear and has a little bit of the stitching starting to come loose around the edge and around the nose here. So those two things should be noted. I also added this aluminum rear carrier rack. It has, features a spring loaded uh, hold down frame here. You can put your lunch pail or whatever you want to underneath there. And I added this custom rear fender. Now this rear fender is a one of a kind. This is off a 1965 Varsity and was a full wrap fender that had some damage in this back portion area, so it's been trimmed shorter. So note that it is a razor edge, but also that I trimmed it to not protrude past the reflector for safety reasons. I reattached the chrome fender brace with a, a Schwinn style smooth top rivet for a nice finished look. This bike has original paint. There are some nicks, chips, and scratches, but overall it does present fairly nicely. Has the Schwinn Chicago head badge. Does not have frame decals, but it does have fork darts. Bike has all new cables. New brake cables and new shift cables, inners and outers. And they're all Teflon lined. Much smoother than your traditional brake cables that would have came on this factory. And I also went to the collegiate pedals. Now these small reflector 1971 2 and 3 style pedals can be much more forgiving if you happen to catch one of these in the shins versus the old metal frame rat traps. So this bike was kind of built ideally for the ladies in mind, but I tell you, you guys will enjoy it just as much as well. I've ridden it a few times this season myself, and I like it. Now some of the other things that are going to be coming with the bike here is the original gear package, the front 10-speed sprockets, which have been polished, the rear small ring gear first, first gear uh, cog with its smaller diameter spoke protector. And see, when you put these side by side now, you can really notice the difference. And uh, its original twin stick, front derailleur with new cable, and the matching thumb shifter. There's also a couple of extra status links in there, and uh, dual cable clamps. So I think that pretty much sums it up for today with this bike.
and uh, thanks for having a look.